For more on this recipe, head over to our website, WREX.com, and click on the Mr. Food link. Back to you, Michael. Thank you, Morgan. I am joined today by Rockford-born artist and sculptor Salem Barker, and his work is, quite frankly, I think, astonishing. So, Salem, tell me a little bit about yourself, your background, and a little bit about what you do. Well, um, I'm Rockford born and uh, no education past high school. I just uh, discovered I had this amazing talent to sculpt. Mm -hmm. After a big storm in 2003, they called a microburst. It made national news, knocked trees down everywhere. And since wood is plentiful, it mm -hmm. grows on trees. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's easy to, to cut with a chainsaw. I had actually got the idea years ago as a young boy seeing the guys uh, do the bears and eagles and stuff at the, at the county fair. Right, right. So I thought, well, that's, you know, it's not necessarily very imaginative, but just take just let go of of the program and just mm. see where it takes you and so always liking to doodle and sketch and stuff I just thought if, if I could bring those to the th third dimension mm -hmm. I just finally just jumped in and did it and uh, with only a couple years doing it it became a career wow. so now I'm doing art shows all over the country nationwide um, I just came back from Colorado doing the largest outdoor sculptural exhibition in the country uh -huh. um, I've got sculptures in Dubai in hotels I've got them in England and most of them in the US but uh -huh. my biggest sales Michael have been in Rockford oh wow. so it kind of keeps me here yeah yeah. yeah. So, but um, uh, this one, I brought, I brought, uh, this is kind of a diverse array of my sculptures because yeah, it you shows... you work in all different kinds of mediums, yeah, right? Yeah, and, and even a couple others than these, but these are the main basic ones, wood, stone, and metal. Mm -hmm. um, most popular being wood, so here I have two of those, but this one uh, I thought would be l l fitting to Rockford because it's, uh, Rockford is very um, industrious in its gear manufacturing. Right, And right. I have even a little bit of history of that here in okay. Rockford. So, um, having, having a likeness for the geared formations, I, I'm doing something very unique mm -hmm. and uh, sculpting out of bronze. Mm -hmm. um, this is cast bronze and I do editions of the bronze. This is stone. Mm -hmm. This is actually like a continuous flowing ribbon. It's made of lavender alabaster. That's the natural oh, wow. color of the stone. Okay. This one, a um, little bit more wild, more contemporary. Yeah. Um, I really, I borrow a lot of my ideas from, from nature. The original mm -hmm. creation is, uh, is the source we're all sort of borrowing from in our sure, art. Sure, sure. Um, just the most perfect lines and fluid motions and stuff. And so I mimic that. And uh, it, it isn't anything but a beautiful object. Yeah. Uh, most of my work is is non-functional. Okay. Um, however, once in a while, I do have I do have something that exhibits some function. This piece is quite quite unique. It's made of one solid piece of black walnut crotch burl, okay. and the red accents are manzanita. Mm -hmm. And and my more liberty loving friends would enjoy this one because it actually holds a Smith & Wesson. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. I did not, not loaded. No, <laughs> I'm not worried about that. So tell me about uh, any exhibits that you've got coming up or anything okay. like that. Yeah, we got a couple in Rockford. Um, uh, actually, this weekend, though, I'll, I'll say first, you know, the Port Clinton show in Highland Park, Illinois. It's, mm -hmm. it's in, in the top ten shows in the country. This will be my second time exhibiting there. So that's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Um, look, up, Just look up Port Clinton mm -hmm. Art Fest and, uh, and you'll find it online. Okay. Um, for Rockford, we have the uh, Greenwich Village Art Fair. It's actually the oldest long, long-standing art fair in the Midwest. Okay. And, um, and it's been a real good show for me. So I am always there. It was actually my first art show in 2006. I won an award and that, that event actually encouraged me to quit my day job, right? And yeah. just jump into this. And so I'm very glad I did. And so well, I come back every year. So and then, we, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks very much for joining us today. Uh, your stuff is absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Michael. Salem, thank you very much. Uh, if you're interested in Salem's works uh, and some of the other exhibits that are coming up, that information is on your screen right there in front of you. Uh, thanks again, Salem. Coming up, one man takes the